Happy Saturday, everybody. We are at the bank. I am with the banana. Look at all that money. Ooh, woo! Yeah, okay. <laughs> like a rapper. Uh, no, I am at the bank with Amber and we are going to a farmer's market, local farmer's market. It's not the same one we went to last Sunday. We're checking out a different one, so. Yay, hey Amber. Hey. Water with me. Water, yeah. Come on. Huge. It's giant. Uh-oh. Green screens. We didn't stop you. It's so big. So cute. It's got plants and food and all sorts of stuff. What's it called? A walnut apple harvest? Mm -hmm. Muffins and iced coffee. Amber's having a lemon bar for breakfast. An almond cookie and iced coffee. Is it good? Yes. <laughs> so we are leaving the farmer's market. It was really cool. It was it was almost a little too much. Yeah. 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 Like they had a lot of prepared foods and they had a lot of like um, fresh foods and they had to just had so much that it was almost like okay too much so I feel like I do like the other one better it's smaller and it's more like to the point I don't know how to yeah you don't need five vegetable stands I mean it's yeah it's not just that like I mean I don't know it wasn't even I can't you know what I feel like what would have helped is if they would have put all their vegetable stands in the same place like if they put all their vegetables in one place and all their prepared foods in one place, like, so that you could like, sh I don't know, shop with some kind of sense. Cause it was like, oh, 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 I want this and uh, over here. And then it was just kind of weird, but it was really amazing. I mean, amazing. So much stuff, um, fairly good prices. I don't feel like anything was ridiculous. We actually have a neighbor who farms and grows vegetables and sells vegetables. His name is Mr. Houston. And he was there and he showed us pictures of his property, which is down the street, not where he grows his, well, where he grows his food is down a different street, but he lives down our actual street. And it's gorgeous. And he said they found an alligator in his pond. I, I think it's so funny. Like I have lived down in the, I guess like the bayou area, like my whole life. And I'm like, alligators are in there alligators are in there and everybody's like alligators ain't in there like hello we live in southern louisiana alligators are pretty much in fucking everything if you look at water and can't see through it you best assume there's an alligator waiting to bite your ass but nobody wants to oh alligators are in there and then there are there are you best assume <laughs> best to assume man best. seriously it's better to assume that there's an alligator waiting to bite you than not um and then like th we have lake pontchartrain and when i first after the storm i used to have to drive over it and i'd be like freaks me out because there's alligators and sharks and everybody's like there's no sharks in lake pontchartrain and there's no alligators yes they were on shark week they were on shark week there is sharks in lake pontchartrain and there are alligators thank you just saying <laughs> anyway <laughs> Okay, grocery haul it, babe. All right. These are some kind of uh, special radish. I don't remember what kind it is, but they have the greens with it, which is great because the, the greens are just as good. She said that they were milder. Yes, they are a mild, milder radish. Yes, milder. These are uh, dills. Big dills. Uh, pickled carrots. A little bit spicy. These are little mini eggplants here. Um, that he said that because they're picked so young, their skin's a lot easier to deal with and they're sweeter, they're not as stringy. We got these from the guy from our neighbor, Mr. Houston. As well as these shallots from Mr. Houston. Whoa, those, like, oh my god. They have weight, they, they smell, smell amazing. They, really they smell like a full cooked dinner. They're amazing. Okay. <laughs> this is, uh, I think, a Japanese bok choy, or it says also an alternative bok choy. 
to right and this she said is like spinach yes up here yes. so and these are lion's mane mushrooms they actually have a sort of fuzzy furry kind of texture to them they're kind of weird but i want to bite it <laughs> they're supposed to have like a crab meat or seafood um consistency so you can kind of cook them as if they were a crab meat yeah now this is some stuff that i've never heard of before it's uh scordalia which is um it doesn't have anything in it except for like four ingredients garlic canola oil citrus and i think maybe something else no but that was it that's it lemon is what he said so but this stuff he gave us a sample of it's pretty doggone amazing tasting it could be a good substitute for maybe like a light cheese or a mayonnaise or anything like it's that it's really good it's like you're gonna see this <laughs> so much and he gave us the smallest taste in it was so full of flavor Absolutely. that like this is gonna last like it's you know at least the week for two of us oh and actually this particular one that we purchased was not canola oil this is olive oil yeah we, we, we had got, two different kinds. we sprung for the olive oil <laughs> <laughs> and actually the cool thing about him is that he has a prepared food business and they are actually in our little village when i was driving through the village the other day and i was like oh they're they're right there so sex change okay am i talking you're on video now. Okay, this is um, a brown turkey fig tree. Um, the guy said that when you were a kid, if you used to go into grandma's yard and pick figs and eat them, that this is grandma's tree. And when he said that, my great grandmother actually had uh, fig trees in her backyard, and her name was Isla. So when Sonia said, What do you want to name the fig tree? I said, Isla. And she, she looked it up, and we kind of like the name and the origin and what it means <laughs> means sex change well <laughs> that's not what it means it was the hindu like person like mythology of a person who was known as they changed their sexes back and forth and isla was the female name or the, the male, male. The, the male female. yeah so I, I just really liked that it was hindu that it is kind of trans and, and her name was isla davis downing kerr so we're gonna Name, name the plant I Isla Davis. I love Isla so Davis. So her name is Isla Davis. We're I've been wanting a fig tree. Yeah, me too. I have wanted a fig tree for a long time. Oh, I was on the internet. Mine's not quite that long. I had them at Bonnie Faye's house, by the way. We used to pick them, but um, mine's not quite that long. But I, do, I have been wanting a fig tree. They say that's the Bible plant. I like it. But instead of cursing it and making it die, we're going to bless it and have it bear fruit. You shall bear many fruit for a very long time. Amen. Hallelujah. Yay. Look, she's got little green plants growing in her soil. She's so cute and proper. I love Isla Davis. Always dishes. Always. Dishes have all been done, and Amber basically dried and put away while I was cooking. And then this is all like the miscellaneous that has to dry. Um, and I am about to prep and well, not I got yeah, like get these ready um, to store basically. And then I'm washing clothes, as you can hear. But I wanted to show you, this is how I took care of the scallions. There's a little bit of water in there. They will sit there and grow and stay alive. You do have to switch this water out. I would do it every other day because it will get nasty and you'll it'll smell and they will start to die. So that's there. But there were two of them that wouldn't fit because you really want the water to be about that high on them so they don't rot out. Um, and these wouldn't fit the bottom. So I would have had to make the water higher on all of them so that they could get water so i'm i'm gonna chop these up and freeze them which is kind of fun to have anyway uh so that's the goal and i don't know if you know this but with anything like carrot greens are delicious um radish greens are delicious so but with anything you buy with the greens attached the root will continue the green will continue to suck the um the like nutrients out of the root and these will get like soft and spongy and they will not taste as good so to to like preserve these for cooking you're going to take the you actually want to cut 
like right here, you're gonna take off the green. And then the greens you can actually store and they'll stay nicer because you have, it's just a better situation. So I'll show you when I'm done. I took my makeup off because it was burning my eyeballs. We're tasting the pickles. Ooh, this one's a little more peppery. Yeah, here you go, y'all. Really delicious. That's them. They have like leaves in them. I don't know what kind of leaves. And garlic cloves. Yeah. They look good. I want to pickle our stuff. We're we going to pickle our stuff? Yeah. Can you pickle eggplant? We're going to pickle everything. It's like the chicken is in a sauna, but you know, probably not relaxing. I don't know. Oilessly frying a chicken. Okay, so I'm having some chicken that uh, I showed you guys cooking and some this is the bok choy stems with some of the leaves, some peppers from the other day, and onions. And Amber is having some chicken and the same stir fry esque. Second coffee Southern of the charm. day. Southern yes, it is Southern Charm. Second coffee of the day. And Amber is asking me about Southern Charm. <laughs> Peasley. Pee -pee. My baby. Such an anchor. She's an oinker. Who's my pig? Who's my piggy pig pig? Who's my figgy pig? <laughs> You're my figgy pig? Oh, Mama, I love you. Where's your brother? Want to go down? Go down. Want to show him how you go down? Go down. Go out to the yard. Go down. Go ahead. No? What's that noise? Riley, what is that noise, buddy? Why Yes. Woo. Sitting on the porch. Amber's about to clean up the oil fryer. And we're just hanging out. Oh, it's a beautiful day. Figured I would show you around this room because I kind of always gloss over it. Um, right before I start the washer but over here I think I've showed you guys before we have like some shelves I need to determine what I'm actually gonna pack away for a while and put that there and then we have the washer and the dryer this is the back door it's got like a little porch on it actually and this is this wall is where we keep the clean baskets hanging that's my wife's amazing uh, innovation. innovation. <laughs> <laughs> You're awesome, baby. Okay, sorry about staring at the wall for a while, but I'm going to try to open this. This is usually where the cat box is, right here, and the um, cat's foods, and this is their, like, carpets, and we feed them right across the front here. But this is the back door. Ooh, kind of scary because I never opened it. What was that? I broke something. And this is what happens. This is the backyard. And that down there is the creek that I've showed you guys before. And the woods go on. I remember that because it's going to be cleared. Yeah, okay. I'll take some pictures because Amber's going to be clearing this. And it's going to look totally different. What? Yeah, down. Do one more day. Uh huh. This bathroom has been needing some work and we are still far from doing it, but we are at least going to be caulking and the cracks and the ridiculousness. Uh, Amber's going to be doing some work in here. Yeah. Ice cream. I can't even be happy because we're dealing with a serious situation. So I had dinner and I totally forgot to show you guys what it was, but it was a chickpea salad sandwich on amber bread. That was my dinner. I, guys, I'm so bummed. 
here's the situation. So if anybody has any suggestions, they can make them and we can talk it out. So Poppy used to be an outside inside cat. And if we left her inside for too long, she would potty in the house because she wants to be outside. Like, and she'll cry and let you know she has to go out. But now we live in the country and she can't go outside here for a variety of reasons. Um, one of them being it's dangerous. Two of two being even if she could fend for herself, like we have a dog yard to prevent the dogs from going and getting ticks because the dogs come in and out. And if Poppy is all about the property and brings ticks into the yard and then the dogs pick them up the next thing you know we have them in the house and that's dangerous for everybody's health animals children adults all of us um and just uh, i don't know so we're trying to figure out like what a viable solution is because she is not having it she has her own box that stays pretty clean relatively clean and it's still just an issue so i don't know I have, I'm at the end. You guys know I'm usually an animal maverick. I can work it out, but this is not working out. It's not working out. I don't know. Um, haven't given up, but I'm starting to feel very sad and very depressed. I don't know. Some marshmallows and a spot of milk conclude today's food adventure. And I am researching some places to sell poetry and other places to sell books that I have that I'm wanting to porch with.